Hey, Tucker Josh, Don Barry here. Hope all is well. Wanted to thank you for all of your assistance as we launch Bolt Stock products in Canada and wanted to let your many viewers know that they can now order direct and get information at BoltsNotCanada.com. Thanks, have a great day, and I love your new truck. It looks great. See ya. time today and you know what that means Starbucks bet you weren't expecting that hello diesel hello Frank Chevy wiener wife hello new couch came into Winnipeg today she needs a dress it's actually a dress for me, but she's gonna wear it. But I can look at it. We're at KP in uh, Winnipeg here on the east side of Winnipeg, Keldonan Place. It's the Transcona. It's a beautiful day out. Beautiful day. We should be at the beach. Yep. You're gonna have to buy me a new bathing suit to get me to the beach, though. All right. That's the deal. Works for me. We got and uh, got a lot of stuff. We got carried away. Like we said, it's a good thing we don't have days off together very often because we'd be broke in no time. So she just had to use the restroom before we left. But uh, here's her dress. We got a, a mat. I'll have to show you it once we get home. Maybe these are for the dogs. It's from the truck for Diesel. Got some jet stickers. And some candles. Yeah, we got carried away a little bit. Okay, we left the mall. <laughs> no more spending. Our wallets are now safe-ish. <laughs> They're still online shopping. We weren't supposed to be spending money, but we don't get many days off together. We went and had fun. And usually, yeah. It's like a vacation. It's a, it's a daycation. Yeah. You always spend money on vacation. We got tomorrow. Oh, What's that? It's so warm. Can I try? Yeah, sure. Have fun. You want warm water? Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> it's a hot day out today. It's 28 <sighs> degrees right now. Is it? Finally. Yeah, finally. 28 degrees. It's probably like in the 80s of Fahrenheit. So, whew. These Canadians are melting. Yep. It's time to go home. Well, grocery shopping, right? Just minor grocery shopping. Minor. Minor. Only one cart. <laughs> so how do you like your dress? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I'm so happy. And I wasn't too short for it. It fit Looked perfectly. Really, looked really good on you. Thank you. See if I can get out of here. This guy came and parked right beside us. This tiny little go-kart. And his door is all banged up. So I had to check our vehicle to make sure he didn't bang our doors. It's happened a time or two already. In Steinbach, actually. People are so bad for that. It happens so often. Hold on to your doors when you open them, please. Especially if it's windy, which it's not today, but some people just fling them open people all willy-nilly. Yeah. They Those willy-nilly people. They just don't care. No. So many people don't care about other people's stuff. So many people just don't care about other people. Well, they don't care about themselves either. Have you seen yeah. these people? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Some people out there are like, well, you just, you see them pull up beside and you're like, oh, this is the kind of person that would ding your door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're judgy. 
Oh yeah, totally. We're judgy. Don't tell me nobody else is. Everybody's judgy. See you later, Maul. You got us this time. You'll probably get us next. <laughs> Real Canadian Superstore. As opposed to all the fake ones. <laughs> We're back in Steinbach. Gotta spend a little bit more money, but on things we actually need, like food. I don't know about you guys, but I like to eat every day. It's a problem. It costs a lot of money. Where'd, where'd Britt go? Oh, she's over there grabbing a cart. Oh, she just ran over herself with a cart. I think she just hit herself with a cart. You run yourself over with a cart? Oh, my hip popped out of place. It's been doing that once in a while oh. lately. From my angle, it looked like you pulled it out too hard and ran into yourself. No. This shit randomly pops out of place once in a while and then it pops back in really fast. So do they do this in your town too? They put all of this stuff just outside and they'll leave it here all night too. No, I'm pretty sure. I've yeah. seen it here at night. Yeah, you're right. I don't know, do they take it inside? I've seen it here at night. Like in most places I think this would just disappear. <laughs> but for some reason here it's just Honest Steinbeck. I'm sure they have cameras. <laughs> yeah, they have cameras. One second, I got these two plastic bags. No. Waste. No. Beverage containers. This one. Uh, triangle. Alright. Food. Straight to the good stuff. <laughs> Mm. How much are they? Expensive. But I'm not going to buy full fruits and cut them up because we don't have enough people in our house to justify buying a whole bunch of fruit. It'll just go bad. So. Bananas. Corn. No buns left. Steinbeck for you. Whether you go to Walmart or Superstore here in Steinbach, for Everything some reason, always gone. they're always sold out of everything. The, the shelves are never stocked. Never. No, it's like we're the bottom of the barrel. We're like the shipping company's last stop or something. I don't know. We're pro it probably has something to do with, as a truck driver, I'm guessing it probably has something to do with the logistics of getting the products here. Because we're probably a part of the network of Winnipeg stores, because we're only 45 minutes away but they always put us last because they take care of their Winnipeg stores first and then you know, if they can make it out to Steinbeck, they'll come out to Steinbeck. Uh, very often they can't make it out to Steinbeck. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just come, we're heading to Canadian Tire tomorrow, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll come and buy buns then. Okay, we'll check tomorrow. Because I really like their giant multi-grain buns here. They're yeah. so good. Yeah, it's really good product. We, we, we're not complaining about the product. We really like the products. It's just, well, we just, we just, quality. we just want to buy them. We <laughs> need them here. I wonder if they make those right in store here, though. They do, yeah. Okay, so it's it, that's not a logistics problem, then. It's made right here, like this, all empty. And it's not, it's not like we have a shortage here. That those, that's not happening here. It's just that uh, maybe we just come at the wrong times, right maybe. after the rush or something. Well, it is past dinner time. In all fairness. But. Oh, yeah. Okay, what else do we need? I need frozen spinach. Frozen spinach. Delicious. So tomorrow we're going to Canadian Tire, like she was saying, to look for a power cooler for the truck. Uh, there's no fridge in the in Old Blue. I was a little surprised when I, when I saw that. Uh, most trucks nowadays in North America here come with fridges. This one didn't. So uh, that's fine, but I just gotta go find a power cooler that can fit underneath the bed. So I gotta measure it, make sure that it's gonna fit under there. There's not a lot of room to put one anywhere, so I gotta make sure I don't buy one that's too big. It's gotta be able to fit. Oh, cool. <gasps> <gasps> okay. We're in full pants for this. Like you said, you bought Old Blue for looks, not for practicality. Yeah, bought it for her looks, but. And, and, this, and this last trip, I'll tell you what, I fell in love with the engine too. That Cummins, I tell you. Woo, woo. Yep. Happy trucker. Beyond burger. More like below burger. Yuck. Plant based, gross. Plant based burgers. Like if you can't eat. If you don't like eating meat, why would you want your food to taste and look like meat? 
if you're against me. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to make money. That's true. Beyond breakfast sausage. Are these beyond ribs too? Beyond, is those no, real, those are regular that's ribs. That's real that's real food. Those are the ribs that we buy sometimes. The real food, fake food, gotcha. Someone left these cookies with the ribs instead of bringing them back. I'm gonna bring them home. It's that time of year again, isn't it guys? Bonfire season. Oh yeah! Oh, a little too close. I got a little bit excited with the fire here. Whew. All right, all right. Whew. So much better with that carport out of here, hey? Eh? Not so much better. Opens up the yard so much. It's been a good day. Spent a bunch of money again today, but spending money is fun. As long as you have the money. <laughs> We don't always have the money, but the credit card companies do. <laughs> we pay it back quickly. We pay it back quickly. Uh, our credit cards, we've actually paid off for the most part. So uh, we're sitting pretty good right now. Uh, we were going into the city, like we said earlier, to get that dress for Brit, so she has something to wear to her cousin's wedding, which is coming up this summer. We're very excited about that. Ended up doing some mauling. Wandering around aimlessly, just looking for stuff. I was kind of looking for some tin signs to put up in my shop. Oh, whatever I could find. I found a few like jet stickers I can put on my shop fridge and uh, a little sign that says Josh Drive. It's like a road sign with a little Jets emblem, like Winnipeg Jets emblem on it. And then I got that for the shop. I got a little, uh, eh, a few things. <laughs> we didn't go overly crazy, but it is what it is. We don't get days off together very often, like Britt and I. So when we do have a day off together, we eh, sometimes we like to splurge a little bit. Deja. Deja. What's you doing over there? Do it again. Roll over. Deja. Huh? What are you, are you doing over there? Were you dancing in the grass? He was rolling around were and around. You? Like a little puppy with a big grin on his face. He's been doing it all evening. Oh, buddy, I don't think you're going to fit through there. Careful. Is that a challenge? <laughs> buddy, you're going to get wedged. You're too chunky. You're too... You got hips, buddy. Hips for days. <laughs> These hips don't lie. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's the money makers, man. <laughs> da, da. What people tune in for these weasel hips. <laughs> can, I, can I film me as I run? Did you see it? Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'll try again. Take two. Take two. One sec. Gotta catch my breath. I'm old. Oh, what's this? And just like that, we're all caught up again and uh, back on track with the vlogs. Hope you enjoyed the vlog dump. I'm pretty sure I dumped these last three on you all in one day. Maybe I spread it out over two days. I haven't decided yet. This is past Josh. Future Josh isn't here yet. We'll see what he decides to do. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like button if you do like my vlogs. If you really like them, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Uh, that way you will uh, know when my next video is released. Usually we have one up every day, most days. Hit that notification bell so you know when they are up for sure and you get a little notification. You can watch it right away. Okay, first comment always gets a trophy, second comment gets a silver medal, and third comment gets the bronze medal. So let's see how, uh, see how dedicated you are to watching me. <laughs> I'm a nobody, but I'm glad, you, uh, glad you're tuning in anyways. <laughs> we can hang out together. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.